close with two eight foot box fibbit sand. Pick up a, a, a silo location to anywhere specifically where the well is being done. It could be within 10 miles to within 80 or 100 miles. Anything within that journey on a regular basis. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at the oil fields. Yes, uh, Miss Anonymous reached out to me and hit me to a guy that's down in the oil fields that's looking for someone to drive his truck. Hello. All right. Good morning, man. How you doing? All right. All right. This is uh, Sean. You called me this morning early. Oh, yes. <laughs> I did. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes um, uh, yeah. Well, Miss mentioned that um, that you reached out to her yesterday, and unfortunately, she wasn't able to go any further because she don't have no experience with uh, with right. uh, with manual. So uh, she she and I was talking, and I was just kind of wondering what you know what what you got to offer and. You know how much experience you're looking for, and where what's what's the name and location of the company? Yeah, what it is. Um, before we go any further, how much how much experience you have in driving uh, semi trucks? Uh, I've been doing it for over seven years. Okay, what it is? It's an oil field operation where you you not do physical work in the oil field, but you drive a truck pulling a chassis, the kind of chassis that they use at the dock to pull containers. One of those with two eight foot box filled with sand. Pick up a, a, a silo location to anywhere specifically where the well is being done. It could be within 10 miles to within 80 or 100 miles, anything within that journey on a regular basis, back and forth. Uh, you pick up the full, the, 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 the box remain attached to the chassis at the silo. You load them, then you drive to the well. They use a great big forklift and take it off and replace it with two other empty boxes. You go to the facility and back and forth. You, you do that all day. Uh, well, all field well runs. The operation is a 24 7 operation. You don't have to work seven days a week. In fact, we do not. We work six days a week. Uh, uh, um, the sleep hours or your rest hours is uh, regulated by one, how you feel in your body. Secondly, if the well is up or the well is down, that is typically the well runs 24 hours, but it has to shift occasionally. The well would go down, which will uh, cause every body to freeze for that moment. It could be 15 minutes, it could be for two, three hours. Will While we, the well is down. Will, will we be get will, will we get paid doing that downtime? No, sir. There's no demarge, it's a percentage uh, uh up until you know, two thousand seven or eight when I just uh attempted to go work in the oil field. The demarge was so high it was more often it pays more than the line hall. <laughs> oh, okay. But after the oil field so, went down and after so, the oil field went down at eleven. So they, so how they, so how do we how well I'm assuming this is a ten ninety nine deal. So how how do I uh receive my settlements and how much uh, do I get paid per mile? Do I get paid percentage? Do I get paid salary? And what can I expect to 
What can I expect to be paid? Yeah, are you an operator? Am I on? No, no, no. Okay, you drive. Okay, we drive. So we get, depending upon your experience, the top rate is thirty percent of what the trucks get. Thirty percent of what the trucks get. The top rate. Not having an experience, you can start at twenty six or twenty seven or twenty eight percent until you get to understand the operation. Uh, at the average, um, the, the, the average the trucks take home about, um, depending upon how good a driver is, uh, I, I, I can get some numbers for you in about 10, 15 minutes because that, that's not my department. But I will tell you uh, offhand, uh, 30% of them uh, represents Close that out. Close the three seconds. One. Well, three. Well, thirty percent of like I'm just using a high number. A thousand. That's like three hundred dollars, pretty much. I'm I'm just ballparking. So mm, yeah. It's so I, so that that that's just ballparking on the on the truck making over over a thousand dollars. Which is that yeah, is that possible? Yeah, um, yeah, per yeah, load. Uh, the, the, the truck could take no uh, for the week. For the week, uh, the truck could take at least uh, uh, seven thousand dollars. At least seven thousand uh, dollars. One day company take their lease commission, and if you ever get thirty percent of seven thousand dollars, it's twenty one hundred dollars. Period. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, depend upon how depend upon how much he makes a shot make, how good he is, uh, and so forth and so on. Um, All right. Well, what... and yeah, it'll be t- it'll be t- it'll be ten it'll be ten tonight. But before we even go forward, what? Let me make, let me uh, let yeah. me ask you. This. Okay, so I'm I'm from Ohio. All right. So what that means, if I'm interested to come down, what would I have to come down to? Like what, Louisiana? Do I have to come down to Texas? And Shreveport. If, okay, so Shreveport. Shreveport. So would I have to, so would I have to make my own way down there? But if, I mean, do I have to make my own way down there if I'm interested? Do you have a car? <laughs> if you have a car, you're going to need your car there. It helps when you have your car there because on any particular time you do want to take off to do your personal errands or on the particular day off, you might want to run around and do stuff. So people who have their car, park their car, I trust them. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, it's, okay. It's, it's okay. When you have your car, it's, a, it's an added matches to you. You know? Okay. So, and, so uh, this is, police. so, so this is like, um, I'll come down there, maybe rock out with you for like, what like six months? I mean, it's an open. It, it's not like I have to. I I I have to stay or anything. This is like, you know, come down there, rock out with you for as long as I want, type deal. Yeah, Hall Field doesn't stop. Hall Field has been there before I was born, and it could be there after I'm gone. <laughs> so, okay. the, the 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 uh, the company. This is how the company. Uh, they, they make a request because of the nature of the work. They like at least somebody to commit to three weeks minimum. Then they take, I believe they take, a, a, I have to verify, so some say four days, some say five days off. But most guys, especially who come from other state, when they come there and they begin to work, they never have an interest in going back until a month and a half or six weeks. Right. When they that's, make their money. Yeah, yeah. That's the, yeah. I, I get I got you, you know on that. that. And it wouldn't be no point yeah, for me to come all yeah. the way down there just to rock out for three or four weeks and take some time off. No, it's, that's it's correct. just come down come down there, you know? rock out for as long as I need to, and then that's uh, correct. and then leave. That's all correct. right. Uh so would and, uh, would I be <laughs> would I be contracted? Would I be contracted as your driver or would I be contracted as a company driver up under a different company? How, how would that work? Yeah. Yeah. We, we have 
two company who we use. So it depends upon which one um, has the which one are you fall into? Because um, yes, you will be contract. You will be owned. But own is a bad word. You will be driving our, our truck. Yeah, own is a bad word. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is, that we, is a bad we, word. Uh, we might want to rephrase that word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can rephrase that word, but that thing been passed in the 18th pandemic. <laughs> we got that stuff going on no more. <laughs> All right. You will be, uh, you will be uh, driving for us. But all right. Um, bigger company. Well, I I tell you what this I tell you what this is this is very interesting to me. Uh, I will take this and uh, and do some serious soul searching because you know from yes, from what I saw and from what I you know from what I seen and from the people that I have talked to in the oil fields, oil fields is a different kind of beast for a person like me yes, that's coming is. over from a uh, you know regular you know regular driving. Now, yeah. are we? Are we I know, EL? Are, I'm being there too. I know are, it. are I got my last two questions? Is are we ELD mandated? Uh, no. and okay, okay. So we do because of the journey. The journey that we that we join is is so short. It doesn't mm -hmm. require an ELD in our logbook. Okay, so we don't. So we don't need no. We don't need no laws, and we're not uh H O O H O S restricted. Pretty much. No sir. No sir. Okay. And what uh and you you are you know, she already told me that it'll be a manual truck that I'll be driving, but what what you know, what make model, year, how many miles on it? We don't we don't know which one yet. It might be uh it might be uh it might be a freight liner. You know, most likely a freight liner, yeah, Cascadia, uh the one that we have open is uh, 11 and it's uh, 700,000 miles on it or the other one and when it becomes open it might be uh, the 2007 freight liner and they're both currently in the old field right now will i uh, will i will i be assigned i'm sorry would, would i be assigned to it or would i be slip seating no you know you'll be assigned to a truck whatever, whatever it is well, listen, I, 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 what I, the first thing I want to do so is to get your license number to send to the office. That's where everything begins. Who's next? Next, next, next.